enormous amount of litter arrives on our shore every day. Eight million tons of plastic entering the sea every year. This is just a small amount of what actually arrives on Guernsey shore in about a month's time. So suddenly we realize we're producing this material that doesn't have a natural uh, decay. It just stays in the environment and it's building up every year. We're pulling it out, volunteers all over the world, pulling out as fast as we can, but there's so much out there that keeps arriving. I always thought it looked more powerful and there's a sort of clear path, like a footpath through yeah. to get to the baby. This is the, the first one, then we're going to clear the decks and then we're going to do a plan view shot as well, looking straight down on the baby on its back and make it look like it's in a human eye, but the human eye is going to be made up of all the rubbish. I have to find a way of composing this yeah. so that the eye goes where we need it to go and it looks stylized but still looks a mess if you know what I mean. Larger pieces of plastic cause an intestinal blockage and cetaceans. We know whales that have died from it, we know seabirds die from it, albatrosses in midway that bring plastic to their chicks and these chicks die of intestinal blockage and when they die you see things like printer cartridges, biros, um, toothbrushes, roll-on deodorant sticks, all sorts of things that they've been fed that are left in their carcass that just don't degrade. So what I've done is use lots of lights, lots of small pockets of light and then uh, I've got my main key light as the Para 133 which is illuminating where the baby is going to go and that's a very centralised area of light and I've kept this light path of bottles leading to the baby so the eye goes towards the baby, doesn't go too far off of these ropes, flows around the ropes and there's certain things I've placed in the shot, curves and shapes to try and keep the eye to the centre and you can see I've created a sort of valley as well to keep the eye focused in and on the centre of the baby and then make it really look like the baby's in this huge, huge mess. So a lot of work so far in getting everything positioned, even though it looks like we've just thrown it out there, it has been carefully positioned and a lot of work's gone into positioning the lighting, but very happy with where the shot is at the moment. It's all so good. Look, can you see yourself? Here we are. There you are. Awesome. Tether tools solved the problem. We're going to pick out selected items from this to form our eye, our human eye that the baby's going to be in the centre of.
what I want to do to define an eye is I want to pull out any bright blue bits. I want to form some lines like that that all go yeah. inward. To the left of the blue stripe. So this is my key lighting, shafts of light coming in from this side. This side is just a fill lighting to make sure that the shadow side is not too dark. And then one bounce light off the ceiling again, just to fill in a little bit of the shadows. absolutely perfect so yeah cause she's looking straight at the yeah. camera there yeah. and the shape of her there the legs and the arms and everything are great Social media has really allowed us to realise it's a global problem and that more and more people are starting to address it, at least from the litter collection standpoint. Now what we have to do is focus the attention on the politicians and industry to try and stop the problem at its source. some awareness um, to it. I guess the, the greater problem for the general public, and I think public perception, is it's a hidden problem. You don't really see it when you look out your window at the sea. You don't see it when you're um, you know, out in your boat necessarily, but it is there. <laughs>